Hi, uh, Nayani. Hello. Hey, how are you? Um, I'm from Brazil. Good, 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 good. Uh, is this your first time here on Colingo, or have you been taking many classes? Yes. Uh, yes, your first time. This is your first time. Yes. Okay, good, good. Well, welcome to class. Welcome to class, and welcome to uh, Colingo. Um, by the way, make sure make sure you don't move around too much because when you move around, it causes a lot of sound. Okay, but it's all right. But welcome to class. You're going to love. Yeah, don't don't move as much. Okay, all right. You keep hitting your microphone, and that's causing some distortion. It's okay. Uh, and I, and do I see? Yeah, here I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to mute you. It's just too much. Hello, Patricia. Hey, Patricia. I am doing so well. How are you? Good, 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 good. So, uh, so welcome to uh, welcome to class here. So let's see. Here. You know what? Can you uh, can you turn up your microphone just? Whoa. Yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah. I can see you. Okay, I just your your microphone was a little little down, but that's okay. Hello, Paula. Hey Paula, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Good, Paula. Welcome to class. Where are you from, Paula? Oh, Paula, you might you might be muted. Okay, I think your microphone's on mute. All right. All right. Uh, all right. Now yeah. it's working. Yeah, but Paula. Just wait one moment. Don't don't click the red microphone. It's everything's okay. Let me help you, okay? So Paula, you have two windows open for Colingo. Keep the window, the tab that has Google Plus Hangouts in the camera. Keep keep that open, okay? Keep that open. Go back to the Colingo window and close that one. But keep the Hangout window open. Close the Colingo one, okay? All right, so good, good. You got it, you got it. Um, let me see here. Uh, Wander, uh, Wanderlea, Wanderlea, yes. no. Wanderlei. Hey, Wanderlei. Hey, Wanderlei, yes. how are you? Just fine, thank you. And you? Good, doing very well. Welcome to class. Thanks a lot. Good, good, good. So, uh, so where are you from? Brazil. Oh, fantastic! All right, good. Everybody from South America so far, and two people from Brazil. Viva Brazil! Okay, so good, good. How do you say? How do you say "live" in um in Portuguese? Live. Yeah. Morar. Yeah, you know. The what's ver that? verb. The verb is morar. Morar, morar Mor Brazil. Okay, so good, good, good. You know how people say like "Viva la, la Mexico," "Viva la Costa Rica." So oh, no, it's no, "Viva Portuguese. too." It's it's like there. Oh, yeah, it's, it's "Viva okay. too." Okay, okay, yeah. I my my Spanish has gotten so rusty. So you know. <laughs> anyway, but good, good, good. Okay. So welcome to class. Have you taken many classes here on uh, Colingo? Uh, quite a few. Quite a few. It's been a great experience. Good, good, good. Well, today will be another great experience, so that's good. All right, so let me uh, let me continue to say hi to students. So, hello, Laura. Hi. Hi. Is it is it Lara or Laura? Yeah. Lara. Lara. Uh, Lara. Lara. Welcome, Lara. Mm -hmm. Lara, have you been, have you been in my classes before? I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. I th I thought so. I thought so. So good. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. Thanks. So. Let's uh, let's see some of the new students. So Paula, hey Paula, go ahead and unmute your microphone. Let's see if you got everything fixed, okay? Yeah, click the red microphone, Paula. Go ahead. Okay. 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 Hello. 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 Yeah. yeah. So, so so Paula, you still have um, um, you still have the extra window open, okay? You, you said you're from Brazil. It's okay, Paula. Don't worry. 
You're from Brazil. Um, can somebody else who's from Brazil here tell her in Portuguese? She just needs to close that extra Google Hangout, or not the Hangout window, but the extra Colingo window. She left it open, and it's causing some sound. Okay, Paula, pode me ouvir? Paula. Paula. Paula, você está com duas janelas abertas. Eu não estou com duas. Yeah, no, no, just, 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 no? Okay, I'm sorry, I keep on muting her, but I keep muting her. I, I think she might have it open, and I'll show her a visual too, okay? I'll show her a visual in here, so, so go ahead and talk to her while I show her, okay? All right. Ele vai te mostrar, okay? So this is, this is it, this is what she has. She has an extra one. I can keep mine open just because I have a different one, Thanks but she needs Paula. to leave leave this one open and close this one, right? Okay. Tem que fechar um. Okay. Okay, there we go. So good. Everybody's helping out. Okay, fantastic. All right. You don't have two windows open. What's the extra sound? Is there an is there an extra me there? Is there an extra me like right next to you that keeps talking? Maybe there's an extra me that keeps talking next to her. That's weird, huh? See, you have you have a miniature you have a miniature Brett sitting next to you. And he keeps mocking me all the time. Pretty weird. Now, I've never this is the first time I've seen that happen in a class. I'd like to see miniature me. Also too, so so Paula, um, take a look at this. There's also a link there for you, okay? And uh, Nayani, hi Nay, is it yeah. is it Nayani? Is that how I'm pronouncing it, Nayani? Is your name's Nayani, right? So good, good. And, yes. and did you did you say you're from uh, Brazil as well? Yes. All right, this is fantastic. Brazil. Where do you live? Um, some Brazil, São Paulo. São Paulo, okay, good, good, good. This is awesome. This is awesome. So good. And uh, what what was that? Did somebody get shot behind you? What? No, I'm just kidding. So uh, so okay. So uh, just keep in mind when uh, when you start typing and you're not muted, it sounds like there's an earthquake and we get worried. Sometimes we think, oh my gosh, there's an earthquake. So let's uh, let's get class started today. So I'm going to give you all the option. Um, let me ask you something. So we can study a business case with the history of Google, or we can work. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm just going to click mute real quick, uh, Niani, so there's not so much uh, background noise. Um, actually, you know what? With this level of class, let me uh, let me actually just because I see some probably need it need a little bit lower of a level. Um, let me go ahead and let's switch to. Here, as soon as I grab it, we'll switch to different business terms when it comes to technology. Okay? All right, so let me go ahead and get this set up. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so good. Good, good. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to go through these terms. Some of them you might not understand so what we'll do uh, these are top 200 English vocabulary terms alright when it comes to information technology there's also um, other terms in there as well beyond just ones that are focused on information technology and what we'll do is we'll go through here we'll make sure that we understand these business terms and we'll also use them in a sentence so I'll have somebody tell me what the answer is and then after that we'll give example sentences okay um, and is it a uh, hello, uh, uh, Elam? Ilham, is that right? Ilham. Hello, Ilham. Uh, Ilham, you might have the red mute button on the microphone. That might be turned on. Okay. All right. So make sure you click the red mute button on your microphone. All right. And there's a little bit. I don't know who. I'm just gonna mute everybody I hope you don't mind just because there's a little bit yeah so um, 
uh, Wanderly, it's okay, but there's a little bit of like a white noise um, that's that's coming from you. Not a, not a piercing sound, but just a little bit of white noise. Okay, um, Saba, hello Saba. Hello. Hey, hey Saba, welcome back. How are you? Thanks, I'm okay. And you? Doing well. Doing well. So good. Good, good. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get things started. The only one, uh, Ilham. Nope, Ilham's gone. Okay, Laura. Looks like, or Lara. We're going to start with you. Okay? All right? Yeah. So, okay. So uh, let's start with this when it comes to, and we're, we're going to skip some of these. Accounting. What is accounting when it comes to business? Business word. What does that mean? And don't worry if you need some help. I'm here to help out, okay? All right. Are you familiar with the term accounting when it comes to the business practice? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay that you're here to learn, right? Okay, so if you don't know everything, that's not a problem. So accounting, this is the business practice of where you're counting the money, okay? So it's where you're maintaining a detailed history of the um, of the activities of the business alright and this is where you will have like spreadsheets different things like that that you record the profits okay how much a company makes and then losses okay alright so that's accounting that's what accounting does let me see if I can get a uh, nice picture in here too Okay, so this is an example. People in accounting, what they do is they'll record all your profits, losses. You see all these figures in here. And then that's how they know how to pay their taxes. Uh, they also know how to pay their profits. They need to share their profits with uh, various people as far as their shareholders. Okay, so let's see if we can use accounting in a sentence. Saba, can you use accounting in a sentence? Accounting in a sentence? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, account. Mm. Okay. I. Mm -hmm. Let. Uh, 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 let me one minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, here I'll help you. I'll help you. Okay. Are you in school right now, or you do you work? No, um, I, I have now, I, am, I have free time, I... No, no, I mean, do you, are you employed right now, or are you still going to school? I'm graduated. Okay, so once you go into work, there's going to be various departments, okay? They call them departments at work, okay? And one of those is going to be the accounting department. Uh, uh, can you tell me? Accounting, what is mean exactly? Yeah, so in accounting, what they do is this is where they uh, see how much money they, they figure out how much money the company is bringing in, meaning how much profit, okay, how much revenue, everything else, and then how much money they need to pay out, okay? And actually, what they bring in is revenue, uh, and then what they have that they pay out, and so forth is profit. Okay, so the accounting department handles all of this. Okay, so I'll make it. I'll help you make a sentence. Just repeat after me. Okay, Sabah, are you ready? Hello, Sabah. Yeah, and by by the way, Sabah, it really you really need to be in a quiet environment. But let let me help you out. Okay, are you ready, Sabah? Just repeat after yes. me. Okay. Yes, um, I'm ready. Okay, the accounting department. Okay, I'm ready. Yes, yeah, so repeat after me, Sabah. Okay. Oh, the account, okay. the accounting department. The accounting department counts our Co counts our profits and losses. Profits and losses. 
Mm -hmm. yep. Good, good. And don't worry. Like I said, you, you've been in my classes before. I'll help you out, okay? So no problem. Okay. Thanks. Louisa! Louisa and Patricia! All right. Hey, Louisa. Welcome. Thanks. All right. Good. Louisa is 100%, so I like that. So that's good. So Louisa, um, administrators. The next word is administrators. What shall I do? Can you tell me? Can you tell me the definition of administrators? You know, and this is in business. This is a business class. We're focused on business English. Administrators, they're persons who was working like in a high level. Mm, they're not working, mm -hmm. but they're, uh, they're workers, but more than just workers. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, so so you can say administrators and people like that. Um, you know, sometimes there are people that are uh, either managers, okay? Some people can be administrators like that. Uh, administrators also take care of departments, um, you know, as far as things like that. Sometimes they don't manage people, sometimes they do. There's also new types of administrators that have come about, you know, like a database administrator. You also have, due to IT technology, you have a systems administrator, that, or you can have multiple ones, and what they do is they look over all the computer um, uh, computer systems and so forth. So some of these folks, it used to be traditionally a role that managed people, and then now what you have are administrators these days that manage people, but some administrators only manage machines and processes. Okay, so it's kind of changed over the years, um, but still the uh, your definition holds true. Okay, so let's see here, Paula, are you there, Paula? No. Hmm. Okay. So I guess that's not going to work. Uh, so Wanderly, am I pronouncing your name properly? I hope I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you use administrators in a sentence? And keep oh. in mind too, with with uh, with technology, there's web administrators, database administrators, uh, network administrators. There's also just regular administrators in work, right? Okay. Uh, we could say that. Um, IBM has a lot of administra administrators in their in the company. In their company, yep. Mm -hmm. And you can even be more specific. Uh, you know, something to the point of IBM has a lot of uh, systems administrators in their company. I don't know if you know about the history of IBM, but they're quite incredible. They went from uh, from building machines, right, uh, computer equipment, selling that, and then they sold off most of that except for their big servers and now what they do is they mainly work on services so they work on services uh, for IT information technology okay yes. so good but good your, your sentence is 100 percent correct hey Paula uh, we can't hear you right now so maybe click the red microphone okay yeah, now it's yeah. So, yeah, yeah I can hear you but the problem is I can still hear myself you know, I never realized my voice was that uh, raspy. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to get that fixed. So, so Paula, yeah, it's okay, Paula. Let me give you this link again, and um, just take a look here, Paula, okay? And then one more thing, just because I know you're really trying hard, let me try one more thing for you, okay? Just look at my screen, okay, Paula? No, oh, Paula, one moment, one moment. It might not be leaving and going back in. Just one moment. Look here, okay? So check to make sure that you have the proper headset. Well, this is a microphone. I always do it backwards. Proper microphone and your proper headset. If you have that, just make sure you have that. You should have earbuds. It's always good. Like Patricia. Patricia has the most stylist earbuds. Look at those stylish earbuds. Yep. Okay, so try to try to make sure that you have that as well. Okay, put Patricia on the spot. Okay, so good, good, good. Okay, let's continue on. Hey, Edder's here. Hello, Edder Junior. Welcome to class, Edder. Oh, Edder, smile. Come on, smile, Edder. Boy, Edder, you look so serious. Okay. 
So Fernando Matila, thanks for adding Colingo practice groups, but this isn't a practice. This is the real thing. We're live, man. We're live. We're, we're not. We're not practicing. I'm not. I'm not much for practicing. I'm full on teaching. So Edder, it's okay. Edder, there's a red. No, no, no. You're just talking in air, Edder. So Edder, click the red microphone above the Colingo logo. It's okay. Slow down once. Just chill, Edder. Well, relax. Relax. Breathe, breathe. No, no, breathe. Don't talk. Edder. <laughs> Just, hey, there you are, Edder. Hey, Edder, how are you? That's good. Okay. That's good. Yeah, how, how are That's you, Edder? Really from Brazil. Yeah, there's many people from Brazil here, but some have already left and some have come and gone. Edder, is this your first time in Colingo? No, uh, no, one, one cool. moment. It's what, Edder? What'd you say, Hi. Edder? Hi. Hey, hey, Edder? Yeah, Edder, it needs to be, um, yeah, Edder, it needs to be, it needs, it needs to be, uh, more quiet, okay? Uh, Fernando, were you saying something? I can hear you, Fernando, but I think you need to adjust your microphone so that it's easier to hear you, okay? Because yeah. it's, it's, yeah. I'm having a problem with this. Um, I never um, have used this. Okay, not a problem, Fernando. We know that sometimes there's issues, okay? Uh, is this your first time in Colingo? Yeah, this is my first time. I'm glad. To yeah! I'm glad All right! To I practice my English. Um, I I want to improve it. Good, good, good. You can see Patricia's so happy that you're here. Okay, she's like, all right, Fernando's first time. Yeah. Welcome, Fernando. We'll give you a digital hug, Fernando. Okay. So thanks for having a quiet environment. Um, but your uh, your microphone, Fernando. You'll see that there's a Colingo um Colingo chat in the right hand side. Okay. I can see it. Yeah, so with the chat, I provided a link. Take a look at that link and see if you can figure out what's going on with your microphone, okay? All right? Just take a look at that for a while, Fernando. I'll get back to you, I promise, okay? okay. All right? Thanks. And hey, hey, you're welcome. Edder, it's too loud where you're at. It's so loud I can't even think, okay? All right? So... Okay, that's a stretch. Vesna. Hello, Vesna. Hello. Hello, can you... Vesna. I can hear you. I can see you. I can't smell you, though, but I can hear you and see you. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you understand that joke. Most people don't understand that. So, Vesna, uh, where are you from? I'm from Serbia. Good, good, good. Very good. So, welcome to, uh, welcome to class. Is this your first time? Yes, it is. Okay, good. It is good, my good. first time. Good. Well, you'll love it. This is a really, uh, really fun way to learn English, as long as, uh, as long as we get the class going. Okay. So, what we'll do, Vesna, this class is a business English class, and what we're doing here is we're going through various terms. Okay, when it comes to business, I'm asking people to give the definition. If they don't know the definition, I'll help them with it. And then I go around and I ask a student randomly. I pick a student to give a sentence. You'll never know when I call on you, so always make sure you're paying attention to class. If you don't know the answer, we take off one finger at a time, okay? Okay. We don't take off fingers. No, we don't take off fingers. I'm just joking. But uh, but just, <laughs> just go ahead, pay attention, wait for the... Um, wait for the various uh, uh, questions to be asked of you, okay? So good. And I think right now it is Patricia's turn. Analysis, okay? What's analysis, Patricia? Do you know what analysis is? Yes, of course. Analysis is um, different. It's, for example, when you have a most an analysis or a trend, uh, you can draw a graphic for for most in a presentation, and it's an example analysis how 
uh, are doing the business in first quarter, analysis two quarter, and analysis one year between last year in business. Mm -hmm. Yep, so good, so good, very good, Patricia. So like Patricia is saying, you take a lot of information, okay, and you put it on things like graphs, like you see here. And then with this information, um, you can look at it and say, okay, are we making money here? Are we losing money here? Do we have too many employees in this department? Uh, do we have too many defects in our factory? Different things like that when you look at the analysis, okay? All right. So, you know, in the analysis, um, for example, uh, what's your analysis of the situation? You know, how do you look at this? Well, my analysis of the situation is uh, I believe that we can make more money if we put more employees into, uh, into the business, okay, and into work. All right. Um, and let's see here. So, uh, let's see, Fernando's microphone, Paula's might be on. Oh, Vesna, since you just started. Let's have you give an example sentence. Go ahead, Vesna. Can you give an example sentence with analysis? Oh, I'm sorry. You might be muted. There's a red microphone button. There's a red microphone button. And actually, it's okay. <clears throat> it's right above the Colingo. I, I had muted you because there was a lot of noise when you were moving around. So, yeah, try not, try not to move too much, Vesna. I can hear you, Fernando. Still a little, um, still a little bit. Uh, you know, it's still still a little hard to hear you, but I, I can hear you. It's okay for for now, Fernando. Um, no problem. I know it's your first time, so just for now, let's continue keeping you in class. And after class, if you can kind of figure out uh, your microphone, but it's no problem, okay, Fernando. So Vesna. Go ahead, Vesta. Hit the red microphone Hello. above the Colingo. Yeah. And can you give me an example okay. sentence? Yep, it's okay. Give me an example okay. sentence, please, with analysis when it comes to business. Um, we have to make analysis because we have to make our plans. Mm -hmm. We have to make an. Yeah, we have to make an analysis because why? Uh, because we have to make uh, plans. Uh-huh. Yep. And I would say we, um, yeah, you can even say uh, we use our analysis to plan for um, the next quarter is a way that people talk about. And a quarter in business, what it is, is you have your first three months, your next three months, your next three months. You know, if you split the year, which is 12 months, into quarters, every three months you have a quarter. So a lot of times you use these analysis in order to predict what you need to do the next quarter. Good, 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 good. So, um, yeah, it looks like Paula. Hey, Paula, uh, let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so ju just, yeah, it's okay, Paula. Go ahead and stick in class. But typically, Paula, you have to have a working system in order to be in the Hangout, okay? I'll forgive you this one time. I'll probably somebody will probably be mad at me someday and go, "Well, you let Paula stay in class, but we'll let you stay this one time." But um, but yeah, try to figure out what's going on. Okay, all right. So Saba, Saba. So yes, we're gonna, I hear. Mm -hmm. uh, annual, annual. What is what does annual mean? Annual. I think it's. Uh, like year, yearly, yes? Mm -hmm. Yep, so it only occurs once a year, right? Okay, so you have like your annual reports, right? Okay, so yes. a yearly occurrence, mm -hmm. okay? So good, good, good. All right, and let's see here. Hello, Elmer. Hey, Elmer. Hey, Brad. Hey, how are you? I'm kind of pissed. But I just want to relax. <laughs> kind of pissed. Sorry, sorry. You mean so? So just remember, okay? Is it UK pissed, where it means you're drunk? <laughs> no. No. Okay. So you're just upset, okay? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And thanks, thanks, Louise. I see you helping. That's great of you. So, uh, Fernando, yeah, yeah. can you use 
Can can you use annual in a sentence? Yeah, I can see it. Mm -hmm. Can you give me an example sentence with annual? So, for instance, I could say, um, I'm going to give my annual report next month well, on 2012. Go ahead, I Fernando. Can't, I can't because I'm not paying attention. I'm having problems trying to, to solve the problem. Yeah, but don't, Fernando, right now, just, just relax, okay? Don't, don't worry about clicking but, buttons or anything. I can hear you well enough so that you can participate in class, okay? So just, uh, yeah, so it's okay. Just give me an answer. Just tell me annual. Use that in a sentence, please, okay? Sorry, sorry. Act to someone, please. Oh, it's okay. I'll help you, Fernando, okay? Okay, Fernando? F Fernando, are you going to school right now, or do you work? I'm both, both. I'm going to the new Wow. Community. Boy, you're, you're juggling a lot then, huh? Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Yep. And hey, uh, Vesna, every, everything's okay, but just when you're not speaking, just keep that red microphone muted because I know you don't realize it and you're not doing anything wrong, but when you move, it kind of makes some extra sound, okay? So it's okay. all right, Vesna. Okay. But just, yeah, okay. good, good. When, when, yep, you just click the red microphone when you don't speak, okay? Not a problem. Okay. So, Fernando, yeah. uh, let's, yep, so let's go ahead, Fernando. So, Fernando... Annual. We'll talk about annual. So, with your company, every year, do they have like a party at work for all the employees? Yeah. Okay. So you can say, just repeat after me. All right. Okay. So um, every year. Every year. My company. My company. Has an, has annual, an annual party. 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 Mm -hmm. For all of its employees. Okay, okay. I okay, so it. good. Yeah, no problem. No problem. And hey, sometimes it's the first time. I remember when I the first time I do anything, I'm usually terrible at it. You know, okay. especially in my teenage years, you know? Yeah. So okay. okay. So good. Yeah. Okay, so let's go let's go to the next one. Okay. Okay. So, Vest, uh, let's see, I'm sorry, not Vest. Um, yeah, I think you might be next, Vesta. I don't know, I, I lost my place. Uh, Vesna, applications. Can you tell me the definition of applications? And go ahead and hit that red microphone so it's white. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me? I can hear you and see you. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> what is the question, please? Applications? Mm -hmm. Yeah, applications, and there there could be many different things in the business world for applications. Um, uh, let's see. Um, do you know Do you know much about information technology when it comes oh, to it computers is. and things like that? Okay, so why don't you use it in the sense of applications of computers? Okay, do you know how you use the term applications? Yes, mm -hmm. I know. You have to uh, pick this application. Th this uh, mm -hmm. uh, to run the program, maybe. Yep. Yeah. So you have applications. So no, no, it's good. So applications are the programs themselves, right? So you hear you hear the term apps, right? Apps. Yes. What's the hot apps. new app? Yeah. So the applications are the are the programs themselves. You know, it's synonymous with that, right? So you have a phone app. And an application like a phone app, all that is is a piece of software that runs some sort of process for you. Okay, so good. That's how that's how you term applications. Yeah, it's funny how how quickly technology changes, and then how quickly all these new terms and everything keep merging in. You know, so good. So applications before in the business world mainly were when people were trying to get a job, they would give you an application that you would look over. Right. Yep. Okay, so Elmer, can you use applications in a sentence with the uh, the context that we just gave? Yes, sure. 
I'm hoping to get a new job in the next week, so I will applicate to a new one. I know it's not uh, exactly word, but it's the same context. Mm -hmm. um, yep, yep, yep. So, and I hope uh, I hope whatever's making you mad gets you. Uh, or, uh, I hope this class helps out for whatever's making you mad. It's a good place to go to get rid of your frustration. Just go learn English, right? Exactly. So. <laughs> uh, by the way, Brad. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I want to mention a book that I'm I'm reading right now. Mm -hmm. It's "Making the Right Decision" by Leroy Bitch. It's an amazing book. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. making uh, making the right decision. Yes, exactly. You know. Okay. Uh, the book oh. talks about. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, taking wrong and right decisions in the business environment. Okay. And what's his name? Lee Roy Beach. Okay. Yeah. Way. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to take a look at that um, a little later. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Well, no, no, all right, yeah, I'll take a look at that. See uh see what it's all about. Okay, cool. Good. Always good to uh to add some more to the arsenal. So let's see here. So let's go now. Did somebody else join? Nope. Just the same people. Okay. That Benjamin guy is still there. Um Wanderly. Yes. Certification. Certification. Well, could be a lot of things, but uh, you know, when a, when a program is finished, you may get a certification. A company may get a certification because of you know devices that are invented or improved. It depends. There are many uh, definitions. For, I mean, for this word, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, and, and when you say um, when they invent something or they improve like a process, it is a certification. They call that a patent, right? It's a okay. patent certification. Mm -hmm. Just to just to, you know, because there's a lot going on with patents, especially when you deal with Apple and the Samsung. You know how they're they're fighting back and forth. What's and that, word, Saba? And the word is, is very similar to certificate, right? Which is almost the same, you know. Yes, yeah, so certification is the process that you go through to get a certific certificate. Okay, so we had to go through a certification process uh, for our accounting department to make sure that we could get a certi certificate or be certified uh, in our practices, especially like I used to work some with medical device manufacturers and there's a whole bunch of certification processes you have to go through when you're building um, uh, uh, devices for the medical industry especially if they're inside a person to so, yep, get the so ISO like to get the ISO uh, certification ISO huh? yeah ISO and then there's a few other uh, certifications that you need so ISO in general um, for manufacturing and then they have FDA has standards for the for the other ones. But yep, yep, right on, right on. So Saba, yes. did you did you want to say something? I I think uh, certification. I think it's meaning a degree. Yes, it's the same meaning. Uh, well, yes, you're talking about a degree. So a degree like a like a college degree, right? So college degree, um, I would just call that you know a, a degree. Okay, yeah. Okay. So you're you, you do you do go through a process for certification so that you become a college graduate. But I would just stick with your college degree. People don't normally call that a certification itself. You know, okay. they say, "Oh, you got your degree." Mm -hmm. But very very oh. similar. Okay, so good, good. Thanks. Okay, so um, you're welcome. You're welcome. So Elmer in business code. Think about code and business. This has a little bit to do with certification, different things like that. So think about a code. A code. Mm -hmm. um, as far as I, I know, 
Hmm, a code is something that has to be followed, or am I mm -hmm. wrong? No, you're right. So like a code, like a code of conduct, right? Also in businesses, there's very... Uh, there's different codes that you have to follow when it comes to a process and things like that, right? So yeah, codes codes are fairly there should be extensive amount of uh, meanings in here. But yep, so yeah, so system, different things like that, set of standards, right? So you have different codes like a building code, sanitary code. So good, good, very good, very good. Uh, Patricia, can you use code in a sentence, please? Code in a sentence. Um, Mr. Brett, my company have code for business. You know, uh, I respect I respect the price for this product mm -hmm. with other retail, for example. Yep, and you could you could say just to help you out. I would say, um, hey, Saab, I'm going to mute you real quick. There's a little bit of background noise coming. So when you talk about codes, you could say, Patricia, uh, codes that we have to follow. Okay? You know? So you follow the codes, right? Just like you follow laws, different things like that. So that's a good way to, uh, to put it as well. Very common way. Okay. Oh, good. My favorite word here. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes, okay. Um, Fernando, Fernando, the word competitive. Th think about business. All right. Yeah, well, can you, what's, what does that mean? Well, it's when a company um, um, be able to succeed in her, in her business this being successful on something so yeah so I'm sorry go ahead I keep cutting you off Fernando go ahead okay okay I just reading the, the page here mm -hmm. yep so yeah so competitive when a company is competitive what that means is they will fight against other companies, right? Okay, or well, compete against them is the easiest one, uh, but they'll try to beat other companies when it comes to their sales, their service. They'll try to, yes, like Louisa says, you know, against something else. Okay, you're very competitive. Athletes are very competitive as well. It's in their nature. You have to be competitive to be an athlete. Okay. Right? Okay. So good, good, Fernando. Um, let's see here. Uh, Saba, competitive. Yeah. Can you use can you use competitive in a sentence? In a sentence uh, like yeah, yeah. many remember many. It's an, remember it's an adjective. Okay, all right. Go ahead. Okay, I will try. Uh, if you do, if many companies competitive to be better than other competitive. Yeah, do you, but. But with that, you almost used it like a verb. It's okay. That's why I pointed out some people don't understand. It's just an adjective. Okay? So compete. Okay. That's that's the verb. I compete against another company. You would say okay. that company is very competitive. All right? Okay. They always seem to win or they always seem to beat their rival companies. Okay? okay. So okay. Apple, Apple competes against Samsung. Apple and Samsung are both very competitive. Okay? Okay. You see how that works? Okay, good. Good. Whoa, Saba, you're killing my ears. Oh my gosh. Ah. I'm not going to be able to compete in my um in my hearing competition. Okay? And there's a lot of competitive competitors that compete against me in my hearing competition, Saba. Please don't, please don't make my ears go bad. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm being a little goofy. Uh, Louisa, concentrate. Concentrate, Louisa. Concentrate. What's this word mean? Just just concentrate on it. You'll get it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm concentrate listening what you are saying. <laughs> yep, yep. You're concentrating on, uh, on, on what I'm saying. Okay, good, good. And tell them, tell them what the definition is so they know. It's like... Uh to try to understand one thing 
Mm -hmm. Yep. And I would say it's also to focus on uh, one or many things. Yeah, focus is the best word. And it's difficult, you know, when e even as native speakers, sometimes when we uh, try to help you with definitions, we try to think, what's the one word to help describe that? So, yeah, so focus when you think about concentrate. Okay. Uh, Wanderly, can you use concentrate in a sentence, please? You know, and you might be muted, Wanderly. Okay. Hello, Wanderly. Are you concentrating on class? Just sorry, I had to go for some no, water I... because it's so hot no, in no. here. <laughs> no problem. No it's problem. It's summertime in Brazil, and the heat is outrageous. You know. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. No problem. No problem. Right now, it's uh, the the rainy season where I'm at. So it's uh, so it's okay. It's not quite as hot, you know. Yeah, I, I feel for some of you in Brazil. We'll turn on the they'll turn on the webcam at class, and they won't have a shirt on. And I understand it's just hot, you know. But uh, but we ask that people have shirts on. So yeah, no, it's it's no problem. I understand. Okay. We have to drink water to keep going. Go ahead. So <laughs> concentrate. We're dealing with concentrate. So concentrate is like to focus on one thing or or many things. Yes. Right? But mm -hmm. usually you you focus on one thing. Can you use concentrate in a sentence, please? Okay, that could be. Uh, the company must concentrate on their budget so that they could uh, we could improve. Um, our job. Mm -hmm. It's concentrating on the budget. Um, uh, so if you're saying concentrate on the budget, is that right? I would say concentrate on the budget um, to increase profits and reduce losses. Okay. okay? Yes. So now, and the only re the only reason I would say that is because you're talking about the money aspect of it. Now, if you were to say our company must concentrate on our processes, okay, mm -hmm. to improve our jobs. That would be something different, you know, yes. like the various processes you have going on. But if you're talking about yeah. just the budget, yeah, that can end up churning out to help your job, but that's more focused on profits and losses. Does that does that make sense? Oh, sure. Okay, okay, yeah. good, good. Okay, coordinate. Um, let's see here. Patricia, coordinate. Coordinate in business is coordinate the action for to meet a goal. Coordinate the the staff. Coordinate the action. Mm -hmm. So so coordinate is kind of like to bring things together. Yeah. So coordinate is kind of to bring things together and to manage things that are connected. Is that right? You know. So I have to coordinate this uh, this. This business meeting between my boss and um, and oh yeah yeah my boss and one of the customers right okay okay so in here right um, coordinate what the heck yeah rank yes order and yeah what am I missing here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let me oh here. Okay. Like so I was using it um in this way. I was wondering what I was missing in there. So yeah, so uh to put in proper relation, right? You know, to place this is how I was looking at coordinating a verb. I was wondering why I was messing up so badly with the other ones. <clears throat> yeah, so to like to arrange, right? Okay, so to coordinate different things. Okay. All right. So, can somebody? Let's see. Um, uh, actually, Elmer, can you use coordinate in a sentence, please? Hmm. Yeah, but I thought um, about four different contests. Yeah. So, so usually in business, I know that's where I, for some reason my head was stuck up in here. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. down here. This is this is what we want to use as verb, because usually in business you coordinate things, right? Okay. Mm -hmm, yeah. So you want to put things together, like um, you know, coordinating a process, coordinating a meeting between two people. 
um, yeah. different things like that. And in the other hand, you also have a chief coordinator and so forth. Well, um, yeah, when you have like a, like a distinction in there, like a certain point, right? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. let's go to example. Hmm. It has to be coordinate or can be coordination? Um, you can use coordination. I don't mind. All right. So, in order to have um, a good quality of service, we have to coordinate the entire process to assure that we will have no, oh my gosh, no fail chance. Uh, no, no chance for failure, right? Yeah, exactly. I just forgot that. Yep. Yeah, no, no worries, no worries. You know, chance for failure instead of fail chance. So no problem. So good, good, good. Let's move to the next one here. Um, okay. So again, this is this is business that it's IT vocabulary, but it has a lot of other um, a lot of other terms in here as well. So Saba database. What is, what is a database? And database is the basic of I think it's related of computer I thought the, the mm -hmm. file and trans when it's the content of of the file I I think it's okay so so yeah it stores files so a database what this does is it stores information in a computer yes. system mm -hmm. yes store so the yeah, information so in the computer yeah, so you have a database that stores all of this information, keeps on pushing it in here. And here's the common uh, symbol for a database, okay? When you're doing like UML, if you ever get to do UML, which is, uh, which is kind of fun. Uh, Louisa, database. Can you use database in a sentence? And Sometimes people use database crashed, lost data. Go ahead. Hmm. May I say that I didn't listen to you and I don't know what it means? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. No problem. Sometimes we get distracted. Not not a problem. So what a database is, is it uh, okay, stores okay. information. Hmm? Yep, no yes. problem. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. Um, employees use database. Managers use database for some... Uh, some codes that they need. Mm -hmm. And just just remember when it, what you're doing is you need to use an article, okay? So employees use a database or employees use the database, okay? Uh -huh. But every everything else was right. Yeah, you do with that. You'll need an article in front of it, you know, unless yeah. it was um, something like they use the Oracle database. Well, there's still an article in front of that. Um, but yep, but everything else was good. Just one of those uh, words that still needs an article. Okay. Wow, which are many words. Let's see. Okay, so Vesna. Vesna. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's kind of stick with the IT theme. So Vesna, you might be muted, okay? Can you see the next one? Developers. Developers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so developers. Some uh, uh, some who um, invent uh, some new new process, new things, uh, new new products. Yeah, so yeah, and let's um so let's think in the computer world. I know I've kind of I've mixed up the, the regular. Programs. Yeah, so exactly. So you have uh, software developers, right? Those are the most yes. common terms, very common. So you have software developers that are making tons of money hand over fist, right? Making new applications. Okay, so you have these guys just programming away, okay, putting their heart out to build a new application and to become the next um, Mark Zuckerberg, I guess. Okay, so developers, Patricia, 
Can you use developers in a sentence, please? The developers at Google are doing an excellent job. The developers where at Google? Are doing an excellent job. Okay, good, good. Okay, and okay. So, engineering, um, Wanderly, engineering. Engineering? No, no, no. Wanderly. He must. Oh. Whoa, Wanderly. How, how much? Uh, how much uh, water are you drinking, Wanderly? <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm, uh, just, I'm just. I'm just. kidding. I'll just. We'll uh, stick a garden hose up to you. I was mute. So that's why. <laughs> yeah, no, um, problem, no problem. You want the meaning of engineering? Yeah, engineer. It just you know what? Just just some form of engineer, engineering, engineers. Don't don't worry. However you want to say it, okay? Technology, engineering. Uh, I don't know. I I know there are so many fields that you know linked to engineering, like civil, mechanical. Yeah. So what is yeah. what what is what is engineering though? What's the, at the root? The, the science. Definition. I think it's the science. I mean, he he's uh, he's majoring in engineering, you could say. Mm -hmm. Yep, and um, you know, it's of making things, right? Building things. Yeah. So you know, you have somebody who's a system engineer. So they're building a a um, computer system, right? Right. To make everything work, you have a person who's a building engineer. So what they're doing is they're making sure that everything's set up properly. They have the proper foundation, the proper materials, and everything in there. So good, yes. good. Yeah, let's. We kind of we kind of defined it to death, or um, kind of define it to death. But um, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm struggling for words myself. We've kind of uh, given good examples just by the definition. Elmer expertise. Mm, that's my second name. <laughs> <laughs> Expert Elmer expertise. Your par your parents gave you um, a very odd second name. So yeah, expertise. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, people at my job call me an expertise. Mm -hmm. You know. Every time that they have any kind of technical problem with computers, printers, and so forth, they call the expertise helper. Mm, good. <laughs> That's a funny way to, you know, to refer to someone that can solve most of the um, the technical problems at the the company. Yep. Yep. So you have uh, you have uh, skills or expertise in various functions in the company, right? Exactly. So, in our, good, good, good. Have you ever heard "jack of all trades and master of nothing"? <laughs> no way, I didn't. No, I mean, I, I, by no means am I referring to you that way. But um, a jack of all trades, master of nothing. It's somebody who knows information in a lot of different areas, but really is not a master of any of those. Mm. And. Um, yeah, and some people say focus, 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 but other people, they uh, they get into uh, to being a jack of all trade and master of nothing. And sometimes that's okay because you can pull stuff together when you're when you're a little older on. But anyway, so yeah, that's another term that's pretty cool. I like jack of all trades, master of nothings, uh, nothing. Ah. So expertise. Let's see here. Um, Saba. Can you use expertise in a sentence? And this one's a little difficult, but go for it, Saba. Expertise. Um, mm -hmm. I I will say a simple sentence like I have experience in my work. It's, it's right. So you could say I have experience. Maybe, maybe you could say I have a lot of experience um, in administering it, databases. So that is one of my expertise. Yes. Okay. 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 So good. 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 Okay. It's that time. Class is over. Okay. So all right. But anyway. Uh, so yeah. Just a just a simple business class. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Nothing crazy Thank today. You. So you're welcome. Wanderly. Good okay. to see you. Vesta. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Saba. Good to see you again. Make sure. Just make sure, Saba. You always kind of keep it quiet in the background. Okay. All right, no okay. problem though. Thanks. It was good the second time. You're welcome. Thank you, Patricia. See you, Louisa. Elmer, Bye. good to see you. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.
Goodbye. What? What, Patricia? No, it's Patricia. Why what, what's that? Shack of Star Treasury. Why do you write in? Why do you write in? Jack of all trades, jack. master of nothing. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so no, no, it's it. Ah, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's ah, not okay. a problem, Patricia. So what the? No, no. Let me help you. Okay. So it's 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 more. It's it's a common expression. Well, I want to say it's super common in the U.S., but it's fairly common. What that means is, so Jack. It's just a.